For the highly urbanized city category, this was awarded to the city of Quezon, led by Honorable Mayor Maria Josefina G. Belmonte, for the Early Childhood Care and Development Program of Quezon City. The Quezon City Government, through its Social Services Development Department, its Community Outreach Division, and the Child Welfare Section, implements the Early Childhood Care and Development Program in 300 daycare centers and 30 supervised neighborhood plays located in 115 barangays clustered into six districts. In each district, SSDD assigns a daycare supervisor, a licensed nutritionist dietitian who oversees and monitors the tasks of daycare workers and child development workers in their respective daycare centers and SNPs. Early Childhood Education in Quezon City has the following programs. Nutrition Program, Supplementary Feeding Supplemental Feeding Instead of providing supplemental feeding only to daycare children, their whole families were provided with food packs, being mindful that all of them were all affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. Micronutrient Supplement In addition to supplemental feeding, micronutrients are also being provided to the children. Vitamin A is given twice a year and iron supplements are given daily for three months, depending on availability. Community health workers administer these supplements. Health Program Weight and Height Measurements The weight and height of the children are measured at the start of the feeding program, with quarterly weight measurements thereafter to determine their nutritional status, using the weight and height for age tables based on the new child growth standards prepared by the National Nutrition Council. Joy of Urban Farming Program there has been vertical gardening orientation and training demonstration at selected daycare centers. The Quezon City Health Department classified these DCCs as having the highest nutritionally at-risk zones. Community Feeding The Quezon City Government Grow QC through the Social Services Development Department and Joy of Urban Farming implemented a 12-day community feeding program. A total of 295 DCC served as community kitchens from May 5 to 16, 2021 with the help of daycare workers, volunteer daycare parents, and barangay officials. Community Pantry In celebration of Nutrition Month, there were 1,000 beneficiaries of the Community Pantry from Districts 1 to 6 on July 28, 2021. Each bag contained fresh and healthy vegetables, namely eggplant, Sinkamas, okra, sitaw, kalabasa, ampalaya, and 5 kilos of well-milled rice. Registration of Private Learning Centers Located in Quezon City SSDD also facilitated the issuance of Certificate of Registration to private learning centers in compliance to the ECCD guidelines on the registration and granting of permit and recognition to public and private child development centers or learning centers. This mechanism aims to monitor the implementation of the ECCD program among private learning centers to ensure that young children in Quezon City have access to quality early education. Handang Magbasa Program One of the major and innovative programs of the city in terms of early childhood education is its Handang Magbasa Program, a project under the Quezon City Government's Pagbasa Muna campaign in coordination with the Education Affairs Unit. This program hopes to support the delivery of home and center-based early childhood care and development program for three- to four-year-old children through the provision and distribution of reference materials and storybooks for daycare centers, parents, and children. The learning package was designed to develop children's lifelong love for books, reading, and learning. Most importantly, each daycare parent and child development worker received a handang magbasa manual and guide. They were also given access to online training and homeschooling videos. The Quezon City Government's ECCD program takes a holistic and family-centered approach in providing daycare services to indigent preschool children. The city conducted a survey to an estimated 60,000 families in various barangays, and from the roster, families with 3- to 4-year-old children were identified and enrolled in the city's ECCD program. 
The result of the survey now holds other vital information as to the other needs of indigent constituents and has become the entry point for the provision of other social services. This includes enrollment of family heads in the city's free PhilHealth program, financial assistance for medicine, education, and the provision of parent effectiveness seminars. The Quezon City government, under the leadership of City Mayor Maria Josefina G. Belmonte, was unfazed by the challenges brought about by the COVID-19 pandemic. With Mayor Belmonte's constant reminder on the importance of a child's early years as the foundation for lifelong learning and overall development, the city pushed forward with its implementation of ECCD activities and introduced innovative programs for the development and promotion of proper health and nutrition.